All right, here we go. Well, I didn't buy it. Comstock area. I made this trip last year, and if you guys saw it, where we're hunting is some of the coolest country you can find in Texas. And I'm actually going to a 9,000 acre ranch on the Pecos River. If you guys saw my last hunting video series, I shot the biggest odd out of my life. I pretty much peaked. So in this video, um, I'm not going to be the shooter. One of my buddies who's never shot an odd ad before is going to be uh, pulling the trigger. But I am more than happy to come out here, film, and just hike around and enjoy the country. We're going to be doing a lot of spot and stalk, glassing, and uh, searching for these odd ads. This country out here is super open, so we can actually glass and find animals. And uh, let me just tell you, it is super fun and I cannot wait to get out on the side of a cliff over the Pecos River and laugh. So if you guys want to see some more odd ad hunting, you guys stay tuned. We have made it. It is about 12 o'clock noon and we have started driving around and glassing. A big challenge with this kind of hunting is honestly just spotting the all dead. There's so much land That just seeing one is really difficult so that's what we're gonna be doing the majority of this hunt is looking are we ready now we're ready look at cars <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. He's gonna be seeing the gun the entire time. <coughs> All right, first afternoon stalk. We're about to go check out what just happened. Trip starting off great. <laughs> but luckily we got my truck. We're walking to my truck right now. Probably a couple miles. What do y'all think? Yeah, it's like two or three miles through all these canyons and stuff. Yeah, so it might so take a little longer. Should be fun. Carson's got my POV GoPro on. Out here with Kenny Whitehurst. Hello. <laughs> Do a couple of TDs to him back in the little high school days. Oh yeah. We got Luke. Luke is on uh, our Wahoo trip yeah. this past uh, last year, and we're with Carson. This is his place, who where we went to last year for the Audad. So, a squad of four. Hopefully, we can find some Audads. I'll do like an over and out or something. Over and out, should I start saying that? Yeah, over, over and out. out. I'll see you in the next clip that I edit in. More time. <laughs> <laughs> hey 
Pecos River right here. We're gonna rock, walk around this bend, kind of go along it. He's all dad, really like a steep canyon. Seldom do you ever get to see those all dead out here within 200 yards. 
Occasionally you'll come across a, a group on the same cliff face. Say you'll walk over a ridge and they'll be down um, the cliff the same side as you and you'll see them, you know, 50 yards away. But that encounter was from me about 12 yards, Carson probably about five. And uh, the thing never spooked, which was wild. Usually they they spook pretty quickly once they catch sign of you, but I guess that thing was really young and it hadn't seen uh, seen enough predators yet, I guess. That's going to do it for hunt number one, afternoon one. Saw quite a few odd dad, but no big males. Just a bunch of ewes and young ones. But it's a good sign. Hopefully we can find a big one at least by the end of this week. So, see you on the morning. What we thought was going to be a, an easy tire swap has turned into much more. Apparently a cable or something broke in here where you shove the rod in and spin the tire down. So we have a spare tire but we can't get to it, we can't get it. So we're trying to figure out how to do this. Carson has some stuff to patch the tire. We're going to see if we can find the hole and if it's in a spot we can patch it, we're going to do that. But if not, then uh, we're going to be in a little situation here. So we plugged the tire, but it is still leaking. So we're pumping it up. It's going up. It's just, you know, it's spewing. So we're going to have to try to get back as fast as we can before it completely flattens out again. The plug just slowed the, the leak, basically. <laughs> all right well it is day two afternoon this morning we had to go into town get the tire swapped out and uh, basically didn't get a hunt this morning but we're out here this evening we already spotted a group of Audad just now that's what y'all just saw out here on the tops of those far ridges and we're gonna walk this ridge line here, kind of move over to the side to see if we can spot another group. But hopefully today is the day we get it done. That's what we've been saying, today's the day. We're at a different spot of the ranch, like on the north end where we haven't been all trip, or where they haven't been all trip. How you feeling? Feeling great. I walked just got Feeling walked. phenomenal. What walked. happened, it's a lot deeper than you thought? No, we just got to get across to there. That's our ending point. Our ending point's over there, but we gotta get it. The horizon. <laughs> <laughs> the walk really doesn't feel that bad, though. No, it won't feel bad until we go down. This is our shooter over here. I'm taking a pee. <laughs> He's really zoned in right now. <laughs> We're going and you're shooting. What are you doing over here? The odd dad are over there. Alright, we are on the move. 
we're actually gonna tuck down and get low so those all dead can't see us we we're thinking about going around the ridge and popping up but they could silhouette us that way if we can get down below them they won't be able to see us at all and then we'll pop up look what I got going But we'll be able to pop up, hopefully within range. There's a couple of nice ones that we see. They're way too far for the camera. But we're thinking that there might be. Jeez. Ow. We're thinking if there's two nice ones, then good chance of seeing a, a giant that's hidden in the brush that we can't see from out here. He might broadside. He's gonna broadside, I think. See, it says 400. Move that dial to 1.7. It's at one, so move it. It's at 1.1, so move it.
you want them taken. Right under that tree. Oh, oh yeah. Got oh him. yeah. Should it begin? No, no, just wait. Oh. Jesus, he's doing a handstand. There he goes. He's down. He's down. Yeah. He's down. Oh. down. Oh. Here we go, Luke. <laughs> yeah. You, you, you. <laughs> 370 yards. Shoot. Told y'all. Good stuff, <laughs> dude. Dude, did you hear it hit? Yeah. Here are the other him. ones right now. <laughs> Yeah, there's a bunch of little babies too. I shot the baby. <laughs> yeah, you shot the little you. <laughs> we get there and he's like 15 inches. He is. <laughs> All right, now we're fighting time. Yep, 45 minutes till dark. So we gotta go get this thing, clean it up, and pack it out. Congrats. Oh, yeah. Smoked oh, him. Oh, sorry. Hell yeah. Big boy Luke. Good stuff, man. Woo! Put him in the dirt. Expired in probably 30 seconds. Well, Luke laid the hammer down. All dad jumped up on two legs and rolled over. Quick death. And now the real work begins. 370 yards. Put him down. But as I was saying, the real question now is how we're gonna get this thing out of here. What we actually did was we used two trucks, parked one, parked my truck, and then we all hopped in Carson's truck and drove way around so that we can make a walk from his and end up at mine instead of having to go to a point and then walk back, so. Even then, we're still pretty far from my truck. So, it ain't gonna be easy. Gotta walk all through this, all the way up to the top of the ridge. Oh my gosh. It's a little bit thick down in this draw. This is the stuff that those big all dad like to hide in. Go down. Oh yeah. Heck yeah, dude. That thing's pretty. Look at this shot. Look where it came out. Yeah, I saw that. That's interesting. There we go. Mission accomplished. Got about 20 minutes till dark. Got meat packed out, all that head. And once we get back, we're gonna start marinating some back straps to try it tomorrow. So we'll do a little all that catch or shoot and cook. Stay tuned for that. All that isn't necessarily known as the greatest eating quality, but we're gonna try it. The last all that I just shot, we donated. So this one, I'm gonna try and eat. This one's got a lot smaller body, didn't stink as much as mine. So I don't think it'll be too bad. I'll have to find out.
more mountain goats by now. This is what we're gonna have to walk through. <laughs> I might try right here, to be honest. Had a little slip. Hey. Alright, y'all just wait for me. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this guy. <laughs> you do? Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Oh my hat! <laughs> Rock slide. How we doing Luke? It's alright. Here, I'm not jumping back. Watch yourself, dude. I can't get back up. Why are you going down? Here you go. That's unreal. Got a cave up here, and we're way down in this canyon now, trying to figure out how to get out. Luke's stranded at the bottom. And <laughs> I stayed up here. <laughs> Don't think about it. Hold on right here. Where, look where my hands are. Yeah, there you go. Uh, We're basically there. Uh, Watch yourself. All right. You good? Yeah. <laughs> Princess. Uh. Woo. <laughs> Had to jump. Oh! That's wild. Get there, bud. Go, Pop. Oh, hold up, Kenny. Tripod's all messed up. Oh, that's gonna backlash. There you go. Don't stay low. Stay low. Now go. Try to lean forward more. There you go. We got quite the climb ahead of us. <laughs> decided to go do this odd ad in a different cave called Casper Cave that we actually went to last year in my Del Rio. So once we get down there we'll get a fire going and cook it up. Oh, is that what we're gonna do, Bert? That is what we're gonna do, Luke. Good. It is howling up here though. It's gusty. That one in the back looks pretty big. Odd ad? Yeah. Also like the third or fourth one. All right, well, I guess they spotted some odd ad. Is that what, it's, what you were filming? No, no it's not. Oh, yeah, they were like right here. Yeah. Big odd ad? Yeah, there's one, looked like maybe 30. What? Luke, you shot too early, dude. No, no, no. You no, can no. see them. Oh, yeah. I can still make that shot. I need some binos. Mine are in my bag. Okay, give me your gun. You got some way. Go right on that rock right there, and there's a gap. Lost them, but I don't think they've gone over yet. Three decent sized ones, they're probably 26, 27 inches. Last time we walked here, we saw all that too. Really? Yeah, I'm surprised you didn't come here earlier. Just thought we were about to send around at one. That was perfect, dude. You posted up right here. 
there's a big one in there. That's probably 300 yards right there. Just send one oh, over. Yeah. All right, well, I guess now we're going to the cave. Some firewood to set up for our fire. Right here on the Pecos. This is probably the sketchiest spot I've walked on all trip. Yeah. Me? There's yeah. Water right there. We can get full of water. With only my phone and all of my cameras. Uh, I guess I there we go. <laughs> yeah, we're good on the grass. Oh, we're making. Ah! <laughs> this burns this on fire. Huge. We're making a bonfire. <laughs> All right, Kenny, what did we season this with? Um, it was Rudy's um, barbecue rub and then Uncle Chris's steak seasoning. So yeah, we poured that in there, mixed it around. Back straps all cut up, mixed and we also up. put some uh, sweet baby rays barbecue sauce. That's what it was. That was sweet like baby rays. So it smells pretty good. Like I said, the Ana never stank like the one I shot recently, and the back straps look pretty good. So. All right, here we go. Well, I didn't buy it. This one's definitely cooked like medium rare. You can see it's still pretty red in the middle, but that's really good flavor. Dude, uh, it's a little pink right there. Yours is. Look at that. That's actually really good. It tastes like jerky almost. Yeah. It's a little bit tough, but we did shoot it yesterday. It hasn't aged. It's a little well. bit. Tough, but the flavor. Yeah, really good. The marination in there. <coughs> mm. That is pretty good. As much as everyone says all that is terrible, that right there is extremely edible. Yeah. Yeah. Gas. <laughs> Dude, that looks awesome. Butchered yesterday by a young Mexican named Luke. Tell us what it what you think and give us a rating one to ten. <laughs> <laughs> Flavor is great. Pretty chewy. To be expected, though. It's goat and it's fresh. I give it a five. For flavor or for overall? Overall, I give it a five, and that's pretty much all the flavor. Respectable. So we're doing like a ten as a steak, and then a one. I'm is... still chewing. Or you on can it. give it. You can give it a rating for flavor or flavor and like the overall texture and. Well, what y'all did with the flavor is, uh, you know, it's, it's okay. It's pretty kidding. good. I like the flavor. I get, I'll give the flavor for you guys an eight. A lot of meats are chewy. This one's one of them. All right. You up, Kenny? Yeah. That piece is a lot more tender than the first one. That's probably like my right first earlier. bite. Yeah. Yeah. So good. This piece is not as chewy as Carson was saying, but um, overall score, probably give it like a seven and a half. Heck yeah. For yeah. sure. I did it. It's I mean, look gritty. at it. It looks really good. I like it. It smells good. Flavor's good. Yeah. i give it like a seven, seven and a half. Overall? Yeah. There we go. It's I got really a grainy, piece. so it kind of comes apart. Good. It's probably all the ash you're eating. Yeah. Oh, look at that. All right, here we go. Here's my, my taste test. That was a little bit thicker piece, so it was a little chewier, but... I think the flavor is pretty good. Kind of tastes with, like carne uh, asada. With all the sauces that we put on there, the, meat. the marinade definitely made this pretty good. Like, I could eat that for dinner. Yeah. yeah. Oh, some rice. What's your score? Yeah, I made this stuff. Oh, chewy piece. <laughs> that looks better. The way we marinated it makes it take, taste a lot like jerky. It feels <laughs> a lot like jerky too. <laughs> but I guess overall as a meat. Mucho gas. Seven? 
could be a little more tender but can't complain it's a goat we're eating it on the side of a cliff pretty good better than expected like i said pretty good bone apple tea So we're supposed to like talk about how it is or meow. just give it a rating? Meow. Meow.